how was that? How was that reception? We could hear the cheers in here. It must be an incredible feeling to win that today. Honestly, one of the best feelings in the world for sure. And uh, obviously, I've been feeling a lot of the support of the Mexican fans all weekend. I guess uh, Spanish speaking always is something uh, that helps. And uh, yeah, I felt like after Checo, probably they, they, they were supporting me. And um, yeah, honestly, uh, they, they, since they were, I arrived to Mexico, I had a feeling that the win was possible. I knew my family was coming to see me here this weekend. My mom was going to be present. I knew I hadn't won a res race with my mom in front of me. And I, my best friends are here, my dad, and I was like, there might be something cooking this this, <laughs> this weekend, and I need to make sure I do everything I can to win this race. I uh, Yeah, even though I made it a bit difficult with the start, then I made it stick uh, with Max and... I enjoyed that race from, from then onwards. So do they have to come to all the rest for the rest of this season now? No, <laughs> no, not at all. It's just a matter of, you know, I everyone knew I wanted one more race win with Ferrari. Everyone, I felt like I also deserved it. I've been driving well all, all, all year and I've been pushing flat out, keeping my motivation high, even in a difficult circumstance and wanting to give everything for this team. And I felt like I drove some really good races and uh, one more I had to win. And uh, eventually it happened. And it had to be in Mexico in front of my family, which is uh, great. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to try and win more, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it had to be here. Great job. Well done. Thank you. You had a big moment, which is very important. Are you surprised that there were two 10 second penalties, though? Do you think this is a line in the sand that's being, that, that's being drawn now by the stewards to say, this is now our expected behaviours from you. These are the penalties, if not. Um, I, I think this was a... I don't know. This was another step from Austin. You know, Austin was. Max's moves were. I, I don't Austin. necessarily. I don't necessarily think any of us should have had a penalty in Austin. I'm not saying Max should have had one and me not. I don't think that's the case. Um, I just don't think any of us should have had a penalty. Um, here, I think it was just a lot more clear, um, for different reasons. I don't need to say them. Uh, but you know, I, I I respect Max a lot in what he does, how he races, all of these things. Um, and I look forward to having good battles with him. I, I want to have them. This makes me smile and it, it's what I love about racing and it's kind of why I do it in a way. Um, but, uh, but things like today are just, it's a bit too far and um, we both could be out of the race, you know, and I, I just don't think that's how you should race. Uh, maybe some people will disagree and, and say I'm wrong, but um, yeah, I think today, today was a, a step too far and I think Maxwell will know that, um, I hope, and uh, we can then go ahead to have just some, some more clean, fair battles, because uh, I, I look forward to them. Hi, Lewis. Um, P4 looks like a, a good return for a lot of hard work this weekend, but I understand um, from Team Radio comments, the floor just isn't doing what you guys have maybe hoped it would do, and you want to have a proper look at it? Well, yeah, well, firstly, uh, really good to get fourth and fifth. I'm happy that I was able to move forwards and, and also just have a, a better weekend than the last uh, and see through all the way to the end of the race and get those points. So I'm really grateful for that and, and happy with the performance. In general, I got a good start and then I had a lot of understeer because I my fault, but I took too much front wing out of the car and I had I knocked out the front tyres basically in that first stint. And after the changes, uh, after the pit stop, much, much better. But it was a really, really uh, insightful uh, and, and informative uh, race because I could feel exactly where the car was working and when it, where it was not. Um, very, very clear in my mind where the car is giving up. Um, and so, and I could see the difference between George and I also when I'm behind. So it will be interesting to see. They have now all this information for both our cars running. So good points, good data for, for both, from both of us and um, hopefully put us in a better position for the next race. That sounds promising. If you can see where those are and the team then can see where those are, how quickly are those sorts of adjustments going to be able to be made, do you think? Brought to the I car? mean, it, I, not before next week, I don't think, but uh, whether or not I start on the old floor, or that's a decision we'll have to make. Um, but I think just to put that back into the development pool for the guys, give them a bit more of a direction of where they need to go next. All right, thank you. Thanks. Good weekend for, for the team, of course, uh, a little bit disappointed on my side as uh, I uh, thought that there was uh, more to do, but uh, it's the way it is. I mean, FP1 obviously uh, 
no running for me. FP2, I was uh, then playing catch up for the whole weekend and I never really felt at, at ease with the car. Carlos has done a, an incredible job, so it's uh, great to be winning uh, twice, uh, two, two races in a row with, uh, with the team. And uh, good points for the constructors as well. And now uh, I'll try and come back to Brazil stronger. I'll do this time all sessions and I'll try to be on it from, uh, from FP1. But thank you so much for uh, all your support. Um, again, as always on the heat of the moment, you are disappointed for yourself, but very happy for, for Carlos and uh, he deserved it. There's no uh, one driver that deserves it uh, more than uh, him this weekend. He's been um, exceptional from FP1 to the race. And um, yeah, really happy for, for him. And, uh, now uh, hopefully we do uh, just like Austin in, um, in, in Brazil. Ciao. You had a great start and in recent times that would have been enough for you but unfortunately with the pace you've got in this car is it making you maybe be more aggressive? Is it making you um, push even harder than you would ordinarily to try and keep positions right now? And that's where these I mean the problem is from. that of course when you're slower you're being put in those kind of positions and um, I'm not going to give up easily. I mean at the end of the day it's also not about agreeing or disagreeing about the penalty. The only thing is 20 seconds <laughs> it's quite a lot but um, the biggest problem of today and that is also what I worry about is of course the, the race pace which um, yeah was really not good it's something that we uh, we need to analyze um, because even without those penalties you know we had no chance at all to, to fight up front it's only a 10 point game for Lando on you today but are you worried about the drivers now no, I'm not worried I mean this was just a really bad day for us but I also know that we can do much better than this um, so uh, we just keep going at it um, I've just been talking to Checo, he obviously had a, a, a horrible day. How much do you want him to stay? How much do you need his help? And, and does someone else coming in help you or do you just want to maintain the team you've got and fight together? I mean, this at the moment is not, uh, not our biggest problem. We need to improve our car because if the car is better, it naturally also Checo improves. And I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not thinking about these kind of scenarios. I'm only thinking about how I can be faster with the car. Have you got belief and faith the team know how to get this car faster? This well, I season? mean, Austin was already promising. Just here, we were really off. And um, I just hope that Brazil again, you know, we can be more competitive. Thank you. Very I don't really know where to start. Why don't you tell me how you sum up that race? Because it was an incredibly difficult afternoon for you. And yeah, it started really well. Although with the penalty we had for being on the wrong side of the box, it was looking great. I was already up to P10 on the hard tire. Um, then coming together with Lawson was very unfortunate. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't get it. I mean, uh, um, he just went for the incident, you know, damaging uh, both of our races, and uh, and then I picked up a massive damage on the on the side, and that was game over. Um, when you said on the radio, "I'm sorry for this idiot," it was looking good. Were you talking about Lawson? Yes, um, of course. I think it was uh, just an incident that was totally uh, avoidable. Uh, there was no need, you know, it was lap 11. Um, we were in a great position, hard tire. Um, I had the corner and he just went off the track. He was off the track completely and just went straight. And uh, uh, I was quite surprised to see him there. Uh, and um, at that point, it was just too late. Do you have any worries that this could be your last Mexican Grand Prix? Zero. I'll be here next year and I will try to go for the victory because that is my dream. Thank you. Talk me through it from your point of view, that contact with Franco Colapinto at the end. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, honestly, I, I gave him space in, in turn two and uh, he carried a lot of speed into two and, and more than I was expecting. And I, I tried to get out of it, but just um, caught, caught his rear wheel. So, um, it's not really uh, it's not really his fault or anything like that I just it was just a clumsy incident um, up until that point though your race had been pretty strong do you feel that way do you feel like you put in a good race today I think our pace was strong but we just spent the whole race behind another car and um, we had a brief few laps of clean air at the start which we maximized and, and we were moving forward but unfortunately we just yeah in, in, in traffic we couldn't overtake um, and unfortunately I, yeah that just hurt our, held our race I think we had the pace to score points but just yeah wrong track position do you think um there's obviously a lot of talk this weekend about your future and the room is in the paddock and we asked you on thursday so i wanted to catch up now and just ask you do you know any more about next year or even sooner than that right now and um well you know what the rumors are that you're going to be at, at red bull replacing sergio no at, at this stage i don't know um anything further about my future obviously a race like today is not ideal for that so um 
I'm focused on on the next few races to try and um, recover and score points for the team. Obviously, we've lost more points to Haas today, so um, at this point, especially after a weekend like this, I'm not thinking about that. Lando, that was an eventful race, fighting with uh, at the beginning with Max, then uh, with Charles. How happy are you with P2? Everybody is delighted with the race you did. <laughs> um, it, was a, it was a very tough race. Uh, you know, the first few laps, a lot of it was just trying to stay in the race and uh, avoid any crashes. Um, but Carlos drove a very good race, so congratulations to Carlos and Ferrari. Uh, they were very quick today, so I tried. I tried my best. Um, and a big thanks to all the fans. The fans make it very enjoyable here, so... Um, yeah, a big thank you to everyone. Tell us through the overtaking with Max. Okay, that was of course very polemic. Uh, he got two penalties. But let us know from your car, you know, how did you prepare for that overtaking? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew what to expect. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to expect such a thing because I, I respect Max a lot as a driver. But um, I was ready to expect something like this and this is a... Uh, yeah, not um, not very clean driving in my opinion, but it's, um, I avoided it and it was, uh, was a good race. And the championship hopes, I guess they are more open than ever. You got many points to Max. How is it looking for the next races? Uh, I just keep my head down, you know. Um, I'm doing my best. We're doing a very good job as a team. I think today we were probably the, the quickest in the end. Um, but uh, we'll keep our head down. That's all I can do for now. We'll focus on ourselves and uh, we keep pushing. Well done, well done. Hi everyone, P1 here in Mexico. Uh, cannot be happier than, uh, than what I am right now, Piro the Moon. Uh, if there was one race I really wanted to win was this one. I have all my family, all my friends, girlfriend, everyone here with me this weekend. And uh, I really wanted to win uh, uh, this, this weekend and yeah, we made it happen. Uh, it's been a very solid weekend. The start was a bit tricky, but from then on I was determined to, to get that P1 back and with a good move on Max from then on I could dominate and do my pace that has been super strong all weekend. Thank you everyone for the support. Thank you especially to all the Mexican fans. You've been incredible. Muchísimas gracias a todos los mexicanos por el apoyo que me habéis dado este fin de semana. You've been amazing and uh, yeah, I love Mexico. You guys know it and viva México. Ciao. The one to beat now is Ferrari. <laughs> it's going to be a great. <laughs> yes! Carlos yes. cutting in on the fun. Touche, Carlos Sides. The winner, and it's the fourth win of his career. And his second win so far this year. Here he is, Carlos Sides! And in his honor. Honestly, I, I really wanted this one. I really needed it also for myself. I wanted to get it done. Uh, I've been saying for a while I wanted one more win before leaving Ferrari and to do it here in front of this uh, mega crowd is, is incredible. Now four races left. I want to enjoy as much as possible and if another one comes, I will go for it. Let us know how, how did you, I'm going to talk about the overtaking later on, but first, what is the feeling to be inside here with all those, those fans? You can also answer in Spanish if you want. Gracias, México. Yeah. It's, uh, 
It's incredible. It's incredible to see this crowd. I've been feeling their support all all week. I feel like I have a lot of fan base here in Mexico, and they've gave me, yeah, a lot of strength to do the weekend that I've done. Honestly, I I really wanted this one. I really needed it also for myself. I wanted to get it done. Uh, I have been saying for a while I wanted one more win before leaving Ferrari, and to do it here in front of this uh, mega crowd is is incredible. Now four races left. I want to enjoy as much as possible, and if another one comes, I will go for it. You you did such an amazing overtaking on Max. Tell us how did you prepare that overtaking? How confident were you that you could succeed on it? I didn't prepare it to be honest. I was just uh, a bit uh, annoyed at the start and having lost position to him. And I said I, I need to surprise him one way or another because Max is super difficult to pass. Well, he's proven it many many times and. Uh, uh, yeah, I was a bit far back, but I said I have nothing to lose. I'm just gonna send one down the inside, and uh, I've been very confident under breaking into turn one this weekend, and I knew I could make it.